comparison video between the Belon 03, the Tin Hi-Fi T4, and the WG T-1. I believe that's what the name of this is. I got my scoreboard up on the top over there. I can use it anytime I want, just change what's in there. And I got the music. Let's go ahead and start. Take a look at my notes that I took while I did listening. First thing I'm going to go with is Violent Femmes. And the track that we start with is Please Do Not Go. Jan, Jan, I'm going to do this fast. Jan, 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 Jan. So basically, a guitar strum, Jan, Jan. And then the bass comes in with what sounds like uh, slightly loosened strings. This is a very good number one. You can focus on the four string bass guitar. A very, very well it's coming in early and it's basically before the vocals in one of two instruments the guitar strums its way in and the bass comes in right after that with a really really nice line and it's obvious to the year that the strings are slightly loose um the tin hi-fi t4 sounds really good with this and the belon sounds really good with this my personal preference is the Belon 03, but um, I come from the bass head side of the tree and I know that I like elevated bass and I've got to wreck things that are based on my personal taste and also consider the feedback of people out there. If I were to ignore everybody and just say what I want to say, it would almost be pointless. Based on what I've heard, my own listening experience with the T4, it's probably got the more... Um, mass appeal it's it, it it's good it it hits well it doesn't seem to have that much elevation and it doesn't really get in the way on this particular track the tin hi-fi t4 and the belon both play them probably about the same and the wg is n not quite as good there's a the life of the bass string the fundamental harmonic life span of those string pulls sounds more natural on the belon 03 and also the tin t4 more than it does on the wg this is a very good set and it sounds really good but i'm comparing it with two fantastic sets Th these are these are exceptional st sets right here these are really really good this is a very good set and i wreck it and i put a check mark next to it but comparing these um i think that this the base is not quite on par with these two right here let me get into a different track this one would be Doobie Brothers. And that would be here. And this is called Taking It to the Streets. Dun, 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 do, do, dun. Again, this is a bass guitar that's very early in the song before the vocals start. Your brain can focus a lot. And it's, it's a four string bass guitar. For a lot of music, it is the bass, unless it's something generated on the deck, but I tend to focus on Tupac if I do that. Otherwise, I'm using bass guitars to evaluate the bass. This is uh, something that I can judge bass and also kind of going into the mids because... Um, God, what's his name, the vocalist for the Doobie Brothers? Michael McDonald? It, am I wrong there? I think that's who that is. Um, he comes in right after the bass line, and this is where the WG... T-1 falls to 3. It sounds good, but there is a noticeable um, elevation of the bass that's going into the portion of the male vocals that is, it's clear to me that the bass is going a little bit further than ideally uh, that I would want it to have. Whereas the B-Lon is elevated, but it comes down before it gives Michael McDonald, I think, any doesn't sound odd, doesn't sound slightly cloudy, and then the 10 T-4, um, so I got the mids on the Belon and the 10T4, though they're slightly different. The Belon 03 has got a short porch and the 10T4 is a little bit longer. Um, in practical listening terms, there's really not that much of a difference. They they both sound really good. The Belon bass is elevated. That's one thing, but that doesn't really necessarily mean that the mids are compromised. And on the 03, they're not. And on the WG, they that is a demonstration of it actually being a slight issue. Michael McDonald's... <coughs> vocals coming in after the bass line sound slightly compromised on the WG. They don't sound like that on the 03 and they don't sound like that on the T4. Let's 
get out of here. Get into some Tupac. I'm going to get a lot of Tupac. Ambitions as a Rider, this is a... Uh, this is an interesting, I'll get into this, I think this is related to Pee Wee's Playhouse, the, the part of the remix that I think was done with Daz and DJ Quick, I'm not sure, I'd have to recheck the story. Um, it's, an, it's a very interesting song, an interesting mix, and it's a very, very good, well-mastered bass strike. It, it sounds very good on car audio because it's very good and clean, um, and it's not a bass guitar bass hit, it's a, it's a deck-generated uh, hit. On something like that, all three of these sound good. I'd probably take the B-Lawn personally because of I think it does the it peaks at a good time whereas the WG is peaking around 125 and it kind of continues um, into the mids just a little. It's it's mid creeping. Um, the B-Lawn sounds great. It's B-Lawn sounds great with everything but I gotta keep in mind that the, there's a lot of people that have said basses you know one or two dB a little bit too much for their taste so I got it this is my personal preference for bass but for my recommendation I would say the T4 is because the likelihood of you having an issue you're still getting everything that's good and not some of what people said of the O3 personal choice is this recommendation if it's the bass and the mids that you're concerned with because that's your sensitive thing and you don't you don't like too much emphasis then I would go with the T4 and uh, this is a great set I feel sorry for this. In Japanese, you say koi so, but you're against two behemoths right here. So, the the mids of this are demonstratively compromised using taking it to the streets by the Doobie Brothers because the bass line and then the vocals are pretty much side by side and overlapping. And you can hear, I believe, Michael McDonald. I, I've said his name like ten times. I hope I'm correct. Um, sounding slightly hazed out because of the bass line happening in its sense. Well, these are dynamic drivers playing all the frequencies at the same time, pretty much. It's a difficult task. Um, it's the whole reason balanced armatures were created, because they said, you know, this, these drivers take care of the bass, and these take care of the mids, and so there's a reason for the existence. I'm a dynamic driver person myself. This is uh, getting slightly strained on the taking it to the streets. Mid slight bleed into vocals on WG, no probo, 3T4, trim on the treble so let's let's go now on the bass I've got tin T4 as number one I got a little star next to the B-Lons because it's my personal favorite but my rec would be the T4s because it's pretty much very close one or two to be down the WG it's not bad in itself but it's creeping into the mids which is giving the mids um, a two ranking uh, I don't see a difference in the mids between the B-Lon and the Tin i Fi in, in listening terms. In on a graph it looks different. Listening, I'm not catching any difference. In the treble, I would put the Tin Hi Fi T4 number two and I put the B-Lon 03 number one and I'll show you why. Mm. Mm, I guess I'll search from a different angle than that. Led Zep, okay. Mm, well, there we go. Hey, hey, what can I do? I got a woman, she won't be true. Whoa, 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 hear what I say. I got a woman, want to borrow that. This is a really, 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 really nice track done by Led Zeppelin. The more that I've listened to this and gotten into high quality audio, the more that I've appreciated the quality of John Bonham's uh, cymbal strikes on this. They're, they're frequent and they're they're excellent. And it's a surprising because a lot of Led Zeppelin stuff, the original masters were not that great. You know, I, as growing up as a kid, you know, Swan Song Studios, I loved this image and I just, I, I, I fanboyed everything of Led Zeppelin. As I got a little older and listened to some stuff, uh, not that great as in, in its original. So the remasters are really good. This, this is a very good version um, of Hey Hey What Can I Do? And it sounds exceptional. The hi-hat strikes, the strike, the decay, we're talking about things that are like in the time frame of half full seconds, slightly over a second, 
sounds more appealing and natural. That this is the thing about the Belon Zero Three. They sound realistic. Like I said, people talk about timber and they say all the words, and I don't really know how to describe it except it sounds natural, with a slight emphasis on the bass that I know to the ear and also reflected in the graph. But personally, I'm okay with that. Um, in the treble. Robert plants vocals which are male vocals but he goes upper into the high register and Bonham's cymbal strikes sound better on this than they do on the T4 and they sound really good on the T4 they sound almost peerless on the Belon 03 now remember I'm giving you a specific song that's the point of these videos now from this point forward it's why I have this big screen in front of me and why I'm gonna put the ranking on the right this is very easy for you to see I don't care if you agree or disagree with it's why am I coming to these conclusion I think that the simple strikes on this sound better than they do on the tin T4 that's what I think so I would and also the treble on the WG is not any worse than the T4 I it's, it's what's probably the best point about the WG is the treble it's, it's actually pretty good all of these do treble well. I'm a big fan of what I call the chop top harmon, which is basically like a harmon with maybe about from three to mm, six. It's kind of mm, chopped off. It just seems to be more natural than whatever harmon and their e testers came up with. I don't think that that, I think that sounds a little fatiguing uh, in its natural form. Let me get into some Michael. soft rock not today <coughs> want to be starting something um, this is the track that I've talked about many times there's a left channel B between about 127 and 131 timestamp it's only on the left side and it's like a B it's like a it's a I'll get into that another time it's a it sounds like uh, not an emergency beep it's like a warning beep like when something's telling you it's about to turn off if you don't push the button type of thing and it's on the left side and people have heard it I've never heard it with headphones never heard a headphone because of the way that it allows other sounds to come in I'd need something with noise cancelling and exceptional playback I've never heard it on headphones uh, I've never heard stacks really and I, or I've heard stacks but I haven't listened to that on stack so I'm sure I'd catch it in that configuration or not that's my image of that um, I can catch it on the WG stunningly. These have a resolution that is confusing. These are like the tape. So I guess the whole purpose of these being, I guess people would want the tape in here, but I think those are technically slightly different than just a single dynamic drive. These have the properties of the tape in their resolution. So if you're a resolution junkie, um, this would be it, but without the fatigue, because like I said, they're kind of a, it's kind of a chop top Harmon and all of these are in that sense so these all have good treble I would say that because of the Michael Jackson uh, and also good I, I, I love this fucking app holy crap this is Pink Floyd I pretty much got it all I even got the azimuth coordinator collection. Here we go. On the run. Uh, this is a fascinating track also for resolution because it's not a single note. It's a woman giving an announcement uh, for people to get their passports ready and proceed to a gate for a flight to Rome. Follow the line. There's a. I've never heard it in its complete form because I've never heard anything that plays it and I don't think that it's mastered in such a way that you can catch all of it. There's a lot of little things going on in Pink Floyd, this album in particular, where they're recording people, uh, they recorded a guy that was outside in the hallway drunk I think, um, I think the guy that says I'm, I've, I'm mad, I've always been mad, um, I've been mad for fucking years or something like that. That guy was like a just a dude outside of the studio that they recorded so mm, this album I've seen videos about the making of it and all kinds of stuff. Um, I think the recording of the woman doing the gate announcement was just some random thing that they clipped off of something else. It, she didn't come in the studio and do that. That was from something else. I don't know what that's from. But the ability to catch it is best on the 
WGs. This combined with the fact that the Michael Jackson left channel beep is audible on this and not on these um, is impressive. And I guess that's why it's on this. So resolution I'm going to give to the WGs because if we're talking about the ability to like for OCD moments to pick out something this is giving me two of my longest that I've been using for at least a couple years on the run by Pink Floyd and Michael Jackson want to be starting something left side channel beep and you guys are maybe thinking this, this is ridiculous OCD um, if you're gonna compare items this is where this comes in and becomes an asset because if you got good hearing and good gear you have the possibility of catching that left channel beep and people have and they've heard it and it's not repeated at any point throughout the song because I've I've waited for it to be on the right side or to be repeated on the left it, it doesn't come in it's like an anomaly uh, that happens in audio sometimes there are other ones that I'll talk about sometimes uh, they're like Easter eggs there's some in um, uh, Grateful Dead there's some the, the, like accidental things that are picked up unintentionally because of the microphones like that you don't notice unless it's at high volume and some of them I discovered in car audio because you're listening so high uh, and you pick up stuff and you're like what what is that um, and when you listen at normal healthy volumes it's, it's just simply not there because they're not intending for you to listen to it um, at such elevated volume so there's unintended consequences one is fucking your ears up and if you don't do that or before you do that you might catch some earth wind and fire there's a couple things too I should start using earth wind and fire in my um, evaluation so I'm not gonna get too much into your time I think that the the T4 is a 6 I think the b is a 6 <coughs> WG is an 8 um, I think that there's a lot of good stuff that would probably fit in the 8 uh, I think the bass for me personally is the Belon. I think in general for the rec would be the T4. I think the mids, there's no difference. Um, I think the mids are slightly compromised by the bass on the WGs as displayed by the Doobie Brothers track, Taking It to the Street. You can listen to that yourself. Um, opening bass line and then I think Mike McDonald, God I hope that's who that is because I've said his name 11 times. Um, I, you can hear the haze. So that's got to get dinged right there and so that's that's partly a bass problem and that's spilling into the mid so it's getting the lower rank the treble I think the Belon I don't know if people I don't really follow what people say but the I think the appeal is that the treble is so exceptional it's not fatiguing it's got the detail if you listen to rock and roll and you listen to you know cymbal strikes hi-hats um, you know guitar solos electric guitar in, in general <coughs> you, you could just listen to these all day again I don't know if I've, I've been saying this for probably a month now. chop top Harmon that's the tuning of 2020 I'm telling you that's where the winning and where the money is if you're making these things the Harmon was t 2019 that's great now that people that l listen to music and love music as opposed to people that were tested um, I think it needs to be a little bit chopped off. I'm, I, I find it to be a little fatiguing personally. Um, hey, what can I do? Symbol strike resolution. Oh, swimming pools. Let me give you. I'll just do the whole thing. What I actually listen to. Kendrick. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. It will not leave me. This album is awesome. Swimming pools drank. Um, th th this is the one that I was saying. Let me back out so that you guys listen to music. This is, this album is so classic. This and All Eyes on Me are just absolute classic. I want to get this and put this on my wall. Like I'm gonna I want to write that down. I'm gonna get out of here and finish this video. If this sounds kind of loud, it's because people said they couldn't hear my voice. So I figured I, I do the mic plus on the GoPro. If this is too loud for you guys, let me know. This is an excellent, well-mastered album. Um, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe is epic money tree. Go check out the video for this because it wasn't done officially that I know of, but I think Kendrick was... Um, I know somebody that's friends with Kendrick. He's on my Instagram. He does his tattoos, actually. Um, 
Mad City, Swimming Pools, uh, Compton, um, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. These are all just just dope. Really, 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 really well mixed. Some of his stuff I'm not a huge fan of. This album is absolutely epic. I was listening to this and the... Uh, Mike Wanna Be Star, Left Channel, okay, got that. Swimming Pools, Drank, Resolution. Um, the... The quality of the master of this song is very good. There's a ton of micro detail that's going on and it seems to be um, coming through most for the people that are looking for the little musical cues on this. So we got Dark Side of the Moon on the run. Um, we've got Michael Jackson, the thriller, want to be starting something, left channel beep, and we've got Kendrick Lamar. So three totally different genres. but resolution again this would be something like the tape um, without that you know big um, kind of Harmon bump because it, it's slightly chopped off so if, if you found the tape to be that close to what you're looking for but a little too much the the cost that is that the bass kind of goes into the mids a little bit um, so that's the video I have no idea like how these angles went because I'm just kind of chilling I forget that this thing's on my head um, and that's how I'm going to do it, up there. I'm going to put my albums up and all that stuff. And uh, you just saw the music that I used. Not too much because I don't want to get overwhelming. Um, keep it simple. That's what I used to come to my conclusions. I think that the Tin T4 and the B-Lon are both excellent. You cannot go wrong with either one of them. I think that the WG is very close. I think it's not quite there. Peanut butter and jelly. This is for my my base heads out there that watch my videos if there's any still out there. Check that out my brothers. And I'm out.